Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping back by. I am Tia the Southern Rose. This week, we're doing no intro. See how we like it because, you know, I like to change it up a bit. So today, we're doing something I haven't done in a while, which is a wine review. And I am reviewing this one, the Fleurs de Prairie, Vin de Provence. It's a 2019 vintage, and it comes from the Provence region of France. It's an imported wine from um, France, of course. And the family that imported it is the Deutsch Family Wine and Spirits Company. And they're located in Stamford, Connecticut. So I bought the wine initially because I love the etching and it was on sale. As you can probably see, there's a bit of floral etching on the bottle, which resonates with this label because the name Fleurs de Prairie translated into English is wildflower. So it's got little wildflowers etched all around the bottom. It's just adorable. And of course, it's a pretty color. So today, I actually bought two of the bottles. So this one was an unopened one. And this is the glass I poured from the open bottle. So what I'm going to do is the typical swirl, sniff, sip, and savor, and discuss what I'm noticing with this wine. So I'm going to come back here and swirl. Now I'm going to sniff. Okay, sip. My first impression with this wine immediately don't be deceived by the pink color. It is not sweet at all. It is definitely a dry wine. It's a bit acidic too. So um, the first thing that hits me is the lack of sweetness and the acid. So if you like a sweet wine, this isn't for you. I don't care. I like all flavors and all degrees of sweetness. So this is fine by me. Um, it has a very nondescript smell. I can't think of anything particularly noteworthy about the smell of it. I mean, it smells like a wine, so it smells slightly fruity, but it you can smell the alcohol, which is um which is fine, but if you're looking for a fruity smell, I don't get that from this wine. The next thing, the mouthfeel. This wine has like zero mouthfeel. It's probably as close to water as you would expect a wine to get as far as how it feels in the mouth. So it's very tasty um, because of the acidity and the dryness. Um, it doesn't have a lot of tannins in it, so you don't taste the barrel that it was aged in. In fact, you know it hasn't been aged that long. It's two years old already, but it has. It wasn't aged that long. You don't have a lot of that oaky flavor, um, but it's really nice. It's bright. Um, it's bright without being too sharp, if that makes sense. It's a bright flavor. It is like summertime but maybe early summer to me where things are sunny but not at their hottest yet that's what this wine is to me if i could translate it into another descriptor so very good would be absolutely amazing with a really heavy dish like slathered in some sort of very strong white sauce like a good homemade alfredo sauce this would be wonderful because this is a backup singer this is not the main act so if you want a wine that's truly the centerpiece this is not it this is a really good companion a good loyal companion to whatever exquisite dish you have now, when I first tried it, I tried it with a cheese tray and I was a little disappointed because the cheese really needed a different flavor, perhaps something a little sweeter than this. This was a little too dry for the cheeses that I had, but on its own, I could see it being a wonderful complement to many things. So yeah, I can't, um, it smells faintly berry-like and I do know that the website that I looked up mentioned that it has a some strawberry notes. I can taste it a little bit, but not the sweetness of strawberries, just the essence of it. Very faint, but really, really nice. Yeah, you get 
a little bit of that sourness and that dryness and a little bit of that acidity, which is the sourness. You get a little bit of that, but then as quickly as you notice it, it's gone. It's It does not linger on the palate at all. So if you're someone that's a little sensitive to stuff like that, this is a good option for you. So I like it. I don't... Um, I'm glad that I bought two bottles because I will certainly use the other bottle as well. This would probably be very good for cooking as well. If you do dishes that require a white wine, you could throw this in in a pinch and it should be fine um, because it's not too sweet. It's not a sweet wine at all. So I like it. Um, if you've ever tried it, please let me know in the comments. I'll put all of the details to it below as well so that if you wanted to check it out for yourself that you could. But yeah, this is the Fleurs de Prairie. And I usually have my wine notebook, but I don't see it next to me and I'm not going to hunt for it. But again, the vintage is 2019. Um, I've had it chilled. It's 13% alcohol. It's from Provence, imported into the U.S. Um, and it's a lovely, lovely rosé that I can definitely recommend. Very reasonably priced, too. So if you want something affordable but still classy, this is a good option. It also is a good option if you're going to have a heavy meal that still leans toward the white sauces and that sort of thing. Like I said, like a good homemade Alfredo, this would be wonderful with it because it's not going to overpower your palate. So that is my review on the Fleurs de Prairie, Vin de Provence wine. If you have any questions or any recommendations for things to try, please leave them in the comments below and I will certainly get back to you. Take care and have a great day or evening wherever you are. Bye-bye.